Okay, so what we need to do to kick this off is to get a Houdini project up and running. And then in the next lecture, we're going to get a Unity project up and running. Okay, so let's just focus on our Houdini project. And I'm just going to walk you through what I usually do uh, to get a new project going. All right, so I've come to a folder location where I want to store my Houdini project. Now, you could put this anywhere. You could put it on your desktop, too. So what I'm going to do is go and create a new folder here. So I'm just going to right click and say folder. You can also use this little button right up here. And I'm going to call this uh, intro to PDG. All right, and let's just make sure we case that appropriately. And then inside of this folder, I want to put in some of the more common folders that I use. All right, so I'm going to put in a geo folder. That's where all the, you know, the cache files are going to go from PDG. Uh, we're going to put in an HDA folder. That's where all of our HDAs that the uh, top network is going to use. And let's put in a text folder for textures because we might generate some textures as well. Okay. So with that, we now have our folder structure set up. All I need to do is jump into Houdini. So I opened up Houdini. Now, one thing to note, um, as of literally today, 17.5.433, um, it's the daily build uh, from today. And that is November 8th. All right, it's Friday. Yay for Fridays. Um, this, re this is required to take this particular course. All right. Be and the reason is there's a major fix that has just been done to the Houdini engine, uh, which takes care of large tiled landscapes, which is what we are going to do. I want to show you guys exactly why we use tiles, um, but also how to create the large landscapes for Unity. OK, so with that out of the way, let's focus on getting our project hooked up. So we went and we created our folder structure. All right. All those subfolders and everything. I want to come up to the file option here and I want to say set project. So I'm going to go and navigate to that project. So we're going to go desktop or folder, go into the indie pixel folder here. And we are going to go find the intro to PDG folder. So I just want to select the root folder. All right, because inside of here is all of our project folders. So just select that root folder, hit accept. And you'll notice down at the bottom of Houdini down here, it says set dollar job to the path that we just selected. All right, so that means that this global environment variable called dollar job now contains this string to this path. So you can always verify that too by coming up to edit aliases and variables and hit the variables tab there. And you can also see that job is now set to that path. Awesome. So we know our project is hooked up. Let's go ahead and save this. So I'm going to say file save as I'm going to select the dollar job here and we are going to give this a name. So we're going to call this uh, intro PDG 001. How about that? We'll probably do most of our work in here. All right. So with that, we now have a Houdini project all set up and we are good to go. So our next focus in this process is to get the Houdini engine and a Unity project created and get the Houdini engine installed and set up and make sure it's running and everything like that. So let's focus on that in the next lecture.